What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at our favorite place, Bradenton Motorsports Park. We're gonna do a little bit of testing with Lieutenant Dan. We got the Malibu back out from a couple videos ago. Had some stuff clogged up in the injector, so we got that back out to do some FL2K testing. We got Tanner from TBM out here with his Chevelle and a couple other cars. So we're gonna have a fun night of drag racing. We've got lots of cars doing lots of cool stuff. So let's go have fun. Hey bud, you want the hot one or do you want the hot one? Hey, put put the me, hot one in there? Give me that one. All right, we'll put the hot one in. I'll, want me to do it? Track sounds like it's pretty good. So we'll put the hot one in. Let's, uh, did you limit the front end at all? Yes. All right, let me just check it and then we'll load this, this rig limited. in there. Almost all of it. Almost all of it? All right, yeah, you, 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 you got one more dot. Disney World of Racetracks, Brainton Motorsports Park. Right now I'm getting us strapped in tight to Lieutenant Dan, because we're out here at a private rental doing some turnt up testing. We got a couple races coming up this month or next month in October out here at Bradenton. So we're gonna get that detune tune up stuff out of here and turn this thing back up. accelerating so I just went ahead and got out of it uh, go ahead pull the log on that I don't know if the car was just hot from the two-step check at the trailer or whatnot still the car went didn't really didn't do anything weird uh, drove a little right but that's because I was trying to focus on sound and uh, and the, the dash to see if anything was going on that shouldn't have been going on and uh, so yeah I don't know exactly what happened but we're gonna find out here in a moment it's a lot slower to the 60 foot than it should have been, but it also sounded kind of like it lost a hole, but it still drove hard right, so 
that was with the suspension on, like very limited in the front it took it and it went but 60 foot was down and it still drove like hard right so we still got something messed up in that right I'm not tuning that car, I was just helping him line up, but yeah, he got that thing wicked up just a little, little too much. back up here gonna make another stab at it see if we can do a little bit better so that pass wasn't that bad the two step like i said just sound a little different to me than at the trailer so i just got out of it early but uh and then we realized the dump was open still so we got the dump shut for this one see what she does have a little bit of a timing retard right there where it's trying to wheelie so hopefully that little bit of weight will tame it down enough to uh, be able to make a full run but th that bar change definitely made it want to pick the nose up a little bit more but it's made it more consistently wanting to go down the track so we're gonna work with what we got right now
get the wheelie out of it and have that tune up in it, this thing's gonna be fast. It just feels like it's got a whole bunch of raw power and it just wants to go. It's like a slingshot when it takes off. It's just a slingshot that's going up instead of out. So uh, get some data, see if we can get that wheelie out of it and uh, try that again. Like literally, it doesn't matter what we're doing. It's just something's wrong in that chassis where it just can't stay going straight. It's always going right now. So something's wrong. We gotta get that thing fixed. Even with the wheelie, we are getting some solid, solid 60 foots out of this thing. So it's not like we're wasting time. We're gathering data, still going fast. And trying to get a handle on this wheelie. me to not be able to get the bump steer right the camera out of the car and it just does goofy stuff backing up it pulls the wheels in pulling forward it pulls them straight just makes it a real challenge to get the car to go straight we can get it to go straight but it's so intermittent we can't get it to go straight more than a race at a time like every time you see the car go straight it's because i'm adjusting the front end to how crooked it was the past before so i don't want to race like that i want to be able to get in my car and it goes straight every time so i'm going to fix that Hopefully fix it before the next outing and uh, go from there. But I think that's going to do it for uh, tonight's test session. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.
All right, guys, haven't talked much. Been running around, got my hands on a five cars out here, so it's been a crazy night. Uh, Tanner's car running good. The last pass started breaking up a little bit. Turns out the spark plug gap is a little big, so we're gonna tighten the gap up. I don't think we're gonna be able to get any more hits tonight on anything. Uh, tracks closing down, so we're uh, we're packing it in. We got about 50 pounds on the nose and James's car still right now. It kept the wheelie down, but the car's just driving hard, right? So he's got some stuff coming to try to fix it. See if we can't get that thing to go straight, and uh, that way we can actually stay in it. But definitely different with the bar change, We're trying to be from you know not as good prep to this track is on kill tonight. You can literally throw whatever you want out of it; it's going to take it. So definitely another learning curve on trying to get back into the 106 foot area. We were really close, uh, but the car just keeps going right. So. Unfortunately, they can't get a full run out of it tonight, but it is really just part of drag racing and learning stuff. But he'll get it fixed, and uh, we'll just keep on testing, I'm trying to convince him to just cut the front end off the thing and start over. But yeah, it is what it is. He wants to keep racing. But hopefully, we'll be having the Nova out here soon, and uh, we get to play with that some more. Uh, the Malibu, uh, he did a pretty decent sized wheelie the last pass. Uh, we turned it up a little bit. I didn't expect him to do that, but uh, overall, he's happy trying to get maybe another test session with that before FL2K, uh, but he went a PB tonight, so he's happy. And even on that pass that he just made, it went a 117 on the rear tire, so the car's making progress, especially from the last time out. All right, guys, that is going to do it for tonight. Time for a hot meal. I'm hungry. I haven't had dinner, and uh, my legs are tired, man. I've been walking a lot today, but overall, super fun night. I miss being out of the track, so we got some work to do, as always, but I appreciate you guys watching. As always, stay tuned. We'll see you. Thank you.